Okay, next question on the exam. We have an exit ramp of a highway is banked at an angle of 27 degrees. So right there, uh, this word banked just means that it's, it's at an angle. So imagine um, a track, but the track is angled a little bit. So you're kind of driving at an angle on it. That's what the banked means. At an angle of 27 degrees, the radius of the ramp is 200 meters. What is the maximum possible speed of an exiting car? Okay, so I'm gonna draw a quick little picture. And I said I wouldn't, but I think you need a little visual. So this is the radius of the track, right? And then here, I'm gonna extend it a little bit. And I'm gonna draw the angle that we're banked at. And this is the car, square car. So it's driving around the track like that at an angle. So if you need a little more visuals with these, I have other examples that are more thorough, but for these, I'm just gonna assume that you know what's going on here as far as the free body diagram. So, so the car is banked like this, all right? So I'm gonna just draw quickly. Um, the normal force is coming straight out of the car. And then like always, we got MG going straight down. And you need to know that in circular motion, the acceleration or centripetal acceleration is always going towards the center, center seeking for centripetal. So I'm just gonna put the A there. Now, what I wanna do is break up this normal force into um, X and Y coordinate, right? So this angle, I'm gonna draw this little piece over here for a second. Um, okay, so here. Okay, this is 27, right? And we have the car here. So now when I bring this down, MG, remember this angle in here. I bring this back down this way and this like this. This angle in here is the same as 27. So that means if I extend this line up, right? And know some trig, I guess this angle and this angle are the same thing. So kind of have to just know this part right here. This triangle and this triangle, you can use the same reference angle. And so we're gonna do opposite over hypotenuse. So this side is N sine theta, and this is adjacent right here. So this is gonna be N cosine theta. So now we don't need this N anymore. Okay, we got this force, we got that one, and we know the acceleration is going inward, and we got MG going down. Okay, so now let's do sum of forces for this car. So we got the sum of forces in the X are gonna be, um, this is the positive X direction, this is the negative X direction, positive Y going up. Okay, so the only thing we have in the X is this one right here, right? So N sine theta is gonna equal MA, but centripetal MA because right, it's going towards the middle. And then the sum of forces for the Y is gonna be this one here and this one here. And they're both in opposite directions. So we're gonna say that N cosine theta is up and that's equal to MG, which is going down. Okay, so same things as before. But now this part here, all we need to do is combine these two by using tangent. So tangent is sine over cosine, right? So we're gonna put this over this. We're gonna say N sine theta over N cosine theta. Okay, so N sine theta is MAC and N cosine theta is MG. Cancel out the M's, cancel out the N, and I'm gonna write tangent theta is equal to centripetal acceleration over gravity, right? And we got one more trick. As centripetal acceleration, right, is equal to V squared over R. So we need to know that formula. So we change this into V squared over R. So I'm gonna put the G on the other side first. G tangent theta. Now this is alone, so I'm gonna write V squared over R. And then we're looking for the maximum speed, so V. And now I'm gonna put the R on this side, square root everything. So I'm gonna have V is equal to 
square root of g r tangent theta. Okay, and we have all these values. We have gravity is 9.8. We have r, which is 200. So r is 200. Um, gravity is 9.8. And the angle we have is 27. So we put all this here. Boy calculating it. And we got velocity is 32 meters per second. Okay, so that is option C. All right, so that's how we do that one.